Hello and welcome back to another episode. Now, this episode was actually inspired by the previous one when I was talking about Labyrinth. Uh, I just, when I was editing that, that particular episode, I thought to myself, I really should talk at some point this year about Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Because it's a film which is uh, as important to me as it were as a child in some different ways, um, but certainly one which um, which always makes me smile. So I really wanted to share why I love this movie with you. And then there was a terrible coincidence, and that is that just as David Bowie recently died, uh, and, and I mentioned that in the video about Labyrinth, um, so too has Alan Rickman, who plays the, uh, the Sheriff of Nottingham in this movie. Um, now, I'm not making this video uh, to be ghoulish or to, to somehow capitalise on that. Rather, uh, I simply felt compelled to share how much I love that film, and in particular his performance in that film. Um, and I thought I would I would make make it now make this make this video now rather than in six months time. Now, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves is a film which I love. I think mainly because it was one of the first films that I went to see in the cinema. Um, there was uh, there was this and uh, films I think like Toy Story, which were some of the first cinema experiences for me. And uh, I don't really remember the film. I don't remember seeing the film in the cinema, but I do remember going in and coming out, if that makes sense. And I remember in the foyer, for example, noticing that there were they had this selection of slightly naff uh, Robin Hood uh, toys. None of it sort of sanctioned, no, not, not uh, branded, not linked with the film directly, but um, there's a sort of little yellow rubber figure of an archer. And I, I remember um, getting one, it was like 50p, and taking it home with me. And um, that, that, that was a cinema experience for me. And, uh, and I loved it. I really, really enjoyed this, this sort of, um, I suppose, almost pantomime-like film which I'd just seen. As soon as it came out on VHS, on video, my brother and I watched it very, very frequently. It was one of our most watched films. And, and of course, as soon as it came out on DVD, and also, the, I think we have the special edition box set as well, somewhere in the house. Um, uh, of course, we had, we, we had to get those. This film has been with me, I suppose what I'm saying is it's been with me almost all my life. Um, came out in 1991. I was born in 1984. So it's it's it's, a, it's an important film. Certainly, it's informed my my conscious self in some way. Um, as I've grown older, of course, there are things that you can criticise about it. But uh, but actually, it's it's beyond those criticisms, and I'll come back to that in just a moment. Um, the film was made at the height of Kevin Costner's powers. It was a, re a revisitation of the scale and topics of films which had previously, for example, starred people like Errol Flynn. It was, it was a, an unapologetic journey back to, to a, a bombastic style of filmmaking. And, and unapologetic, un unapologetic is the word because, for example, there's so much wrong with this film. You know, I mean, like, Kevin Costner doesn't attempt to do anything other than his own American accent. Um, um, uh, when they when they first arrive in uh, in Britain, they walk from the coast and the south, from Dover more or less, the, the White Cliffs, up to Hadrian's Wall, and then to Nottingham. Apparently, they're just going to Nottingham, but they go all the way up north and then back down south again. Um, in one day, <laughs> no less. In one day, <laughs> um, but they, but the film didn't seem to care. What they were portraying was an idea of medieval, in particular medieval England, I guess one would say, not just medieval Britain. And um, the, the, for example, the iconic site where on Hadrian's Wall in Sycamore Gap, where you have Nazim praying up on top of the little the sort of the mound, and uh, Robin's fighting off all these soldiers. These are iconic sites and iconic places. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had them film anywhere else anyway. And in that sense, that's exactly what this film does to you. It, it, uh, it charms you. You come along for the ride with it, no matter how, how ridiculous, really, in many ways, things get. Now, when it comes to ridiculous and over the top, um, Alan Rickman completely steals the show with lines like, you know, call off Christmas, scraps for the orphans are cancelled. Um, uh, was it, I'm gonna cut your heart out with a spoon! <laughs> His cousin's saying, why a spoon? Why not a, an axe or a knife? Because it's dull, you twit, it'll hurt more. Um, he uh, is superb in this film. And, uh, and actually, 
the reason why he's superb is because he's not just he's not just being a pantomime dame. He knows when to push it and when also when to come back to something uh, that reminds you that actually the sheriff is in fact a human being. For example, in, in the moment of his death in this film, spoilers, but hopefully you've already seen the film. Um, you get a real sense, actually, that some of the things he's talked about, his, his broken childhood, his uh, the lack of anything pure or proper in his life, um, having been brought up by this terrifying witch woman, um, and oh, God, did she scare me as a child. Um, you almost feel bad for him as he's dying. He sort of crawls towards uh, the, the, this sort of altar in the chapel, or as if seeking some form, some measure of forgiveness before he dies. He is a rounded, as rounded as the script would allow him to be, character. He's not just a one-note cre uh, creature. And that's, that's the strength of Alan Rickman's performance, and indeed Alan Rickman in general. Uh, everything he does, on the one hand you can say, oh, it's the same role over and over again. Um, was it him? I'll get you McLean, I'll get you Potter, I'll get you Robin Hood. But that's not the case at all, actually. Every single character that he played, and especially away from those big roles where he was Snape or Hans Gruber or the uh, Sheriff of Nottingham. For example, in small Shakespeare productions, in uh, recently he, he, he starred in and directed a film um, about, uh, I think, Versailles, the gardens of Versailles. Um, you really saw that actually he was a very ob observant, grounded, and uh, and very capable actor. And actually, also as well, his success was never wasn't guaranteed. I've been hearing in interviews over the past couple of days how actually, as a young man, when he was training to be an actor in school, in acting school, um, he, he would often be. Uh, living hand to mouth. He wouldn't be, you know, he'd be basically more or less um, uh, relying on, on handouts in order to get his next meal. So he hasn't had it, he didn't have it easy in his career and he worked his chops off. And, uh, and in this film it paid uh, dividends. Boy, boy was he delivering the goods in this movie. Uh, other actors and other characters of note include, for example, Maid Marian. I'm, I'm sorry to say that uh, it's Mary Elizabeth some, something, um, her surname escapes me. Um, she's a wonderful character. Uh, and, and, and in a funny way, actually, between her and uh, their take on, say, Friar Tuck, the take on Little John and his wife, and his wife is a wonderful character in this film. Um, they sort of walk a line between actually going for realism, a strange sort of medieval realism, uh, and also maintaining this sort of pantomime uh, kind of quality. Um, Nazim, the character played by Morgan Freeman, is wonderful, he's wise, he's loyal, uh, he's, he's forgiving, even when, for example, um, uh, oh, I forgot what his name is now, but the, the Robin Hood servant uh, who's blinded in the film. Um, uh, is sort of cursing the moors, and because uh, he can't see that obviously the Morgan Freeman has dark skin, um, he doesn't take it too much to heart. He sort of just teases teases him. When a little girl comes up to him in the woods during a party and says, "Did God paint you?" His response, the character's response, is wonderful. It really stuck with me as a child when he said, um, "Oh, most certainly yes, because Allah uh, lo loves wondrous variety." And, uh, and as a child, I thought. I thought, wow, well, what a warm and pleasant and, and thought-provoking way to respond to someone basically saying, you're different, you know? <laughs> so the characters, again, none of them really are just single-note characters, and that's one of the reasons why this film works. Uh, even though it's historically a bit of a mess, and, uh, for example, the use of the, of the people from Scotland, of the so-called Celts in this film, is very, very odd and strange, the betrayal of them, um, everything else makes up for it. The, the village that they build in the woods, I wanted to live there as a child, with the with the gangways going from place to place, the sort of the the uh, the, um, the, the counterweighted lift system for getting out of the uh, out of huts, for the uh, the irrigation system, uh, experimenting with gunpowder. Everything was uh, was so exciting in uh, in uh, in the in Sherwood Forest. And so the film made an impression and, and as I say with, with this particular video I haven't made any notes because I, because it's so ingrained in my in my psyche that um, all sorts of things come to come to mind I mean like there's, there's a moment when um, uh, there, there's a soldier who's putting a wanted poster on the wall and Robin sort of shoots it and into the into the wall 
and uh, he turned this soldier turns his head and the th um, thing I, li I love about the production design is, is that this guy's nose guard is bent to one side it's sort of it's crooked and it's little details like that which again which which walked this realistic edge you know so it, it was over the top but it was also they were also trying to go for uh, for something gritty and a bit sort of um something that you had to sort of rub your face in a little bit and uh, and boy did i rub my face in it as a, as a young boy as a young man and now as a uh, older young man um i'm not yet ready to call myself middle-aged I'm, I'm not middle-aged but you know as, as i get older my love for this film increases uh, and in particular my love for the amazing Sheriff of Nottingham as created by Alan Rickman as portrayed uh, by Alan Rickman uh, with such expertise and so this uh, hopefully this video has met its objectives not only do I want to talk about or did I want to talk about why I love the film and hopefully get you guys excited and maybe go out and see uh, this movie but also I just wanted to, wanted to look at Alan Rickman through the lens of that one performance and um, and uh, just smile because he does make me smile and, uh, and little things that, that he does in, in every role that he, that, he's, that he has put on the screen in particular, the ones that I've seen, um, they're so subtle and it's like I say it would be tempting because his voice is his voice, he has a distinctive voice to think that he is, he is, he's, well it's Alan Rickman but it's not Alan Rickman. He he, he was a great actor and uh, and a great. It seems to be a great man. One thing actually, which I think really reflects his his sense of humour, is actually a couple of years ago he did um uh, a a piece with uh, someone where they shot like maybe six seven seconds of footage with him stirring some tea and then smashing it across the table uh, in response to a someone unknown person coming into the room. Um, they sort of extended this to about like was it 20 minutes a very long video um the slow-mo of alan rickman making tea and uh, and that really underlined that he was that he had a great sense of humor but also that he had he had reached and he was he was comfortable in this sort of quasi iconic status that uh, that all you have to do is go and google uh, alan rickman and tea and this will turn up and indeed that people wanted to see alan rickman making tea really speaks to just how great this guy was um, and is. He will live on in his body of work. Um, anyway guys, hopefully this hasn't been too uh, too, uh, too, too uh, depressing talking about, about the, um, the death of Alan Rickman, but uh, I really wanted just to share with you how much I love, I fucking love this film and, um, and uh, I really as well, I really appreciate what Alan Rickman did. With, with that sheriff. Um, anyway, hopefully you've like you've enjoyed this video, and hopefully you, you will, if you haven't already, you will enjoy uh, watching the movie. As ever, guys. Until next time, whatever you get up to, do take care. Bye bye.